Hello YouTube, let's try out some SOCOM 3 US Navy SEAL, shall we? Quick deploy or main menu? Let's go into the main menu. Game looks a little dark, but I don't think that's me. I think that's just the game. Because we're looking through some sort of thing here or something. Something's going on. The game's working well. Well, we might end up having to change games just because the game's not working. <laughs> it does appear to have frozen. She be glitching a little bit, dude. Let me... Let me give it a clean. It's not our first rodeo. I'm gonna go clean the disc and or... Oh! Hey, there we go. It just took a minute. It was just being really freaking slow, I guess. Um, login created for 24, 23. That's, I don't have my watch. That's today, right? So I guess that one. Can we do options? Oh God, the, the audio and shit is glitching like wonderfully. Hey, we got, we got online and land modes. That's always cool. Not that, I, I doubt online's still working. My PS2 could be hooked to the internet. <laughs> like we could try online mode. But for some reason, any servers or anything that might have been going once upon a time, I don't think are still going to be going. So, I don't think we need to worry about that. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get a Clear American sponsorship? I mean, look, if uh, if Clear American wants to sponsor me, I would gladly take just free Clear American, man. Like, I would... You don't even need to pay me unless I blow up or something like that. I am fine with just Clear American as a as a spawn uh, or as a reward. S2 Bounty Killer, thank you for the follow, my guy. I appreciate you. Trying to get a Clear American sponsorship, dude. As much as with as much of it as I drink, though, like that would be a okay with me. Would not have a problem with that. We might need to get up and clean the disc, anyways, because just loading into the options seems to have frozen the game. I hate to see what going into the actual game itself would do, so <laughs> I might have to I might have to hop over there and uh, clean the disc and the laser real quick on the PS2 and hope for the best. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. All right, <laughs> BRB again. I'm very disappointed. This seedy alley looks like a good place to go. Sure, we won't run into any trouble down this way. Hmm. Maybe just keep running around to the right. We get up there. Maybe. Maybe not. Hello, you. Albert. You've been in the city below. I had a friend there, Fifi. I haven't seen him in ages. Did we meet Fifi? We probably did. My memory, uh, not so great, though. So Sojiro. You stone a bar. It was the coziest place around here. Till I took a screwdriver in the knee. <laughs> and it's closed now. I used to be an adventurer like you once. Till I took a screwdriver in the knee. Even if this guy bums me out, he's my only customer. Try not to scare him away, please. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hmm. I am admittedly a tiny bit lost. Okay, so we came over here. We're supposed to be going... Alright. Gave the, the laser a quick clean. If it doesn't work... Uh, I'll give the disc a clean. It doesn't look that bad, but if it doesn't work, I'll give that a quick clean. And then uh, if that doesn't work, we'll just give up. <laughs> we'll play something else or screw around with some Pokemon or something like that. But hopefully, fingers crossed, this is always the problem with playing on, on real hardware. But uh, hopefully it works. Nice disc clean. Or not disc clean, laser clean. I did... I have been burning incense recently. And I do use, or and I did accidentally leave my uh, disk drive open, so there is a decent chance it was just dusty, and that was the problem. But we'll see. We'll see. Emulator. I play all of my games on real, uh, real console, real hardware. 
I've been collecting PlayStation 2 games. Um, trying to collect all of them that were released in North America. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. And uh, then play them on real hardware. It's, uh, I don't know, there's something nice and nostalgic about it. I love emulation, don't get me wrong. But there's something nostalgic about playing on like real hardware with a real controller, actually popping the disc in, all that stuff. Uh, but sadly, it does sometimes l lead to problems like this. DJ with no name. Welcome, man. You long for a remaster of SOCOM 1 to 3? I've never really played that much of the SOCOM games before, to be honest with you. I've played... I can't remember what it was that we played not too long ago. If it was SOCOM or something Tom Clancy. I don't remember. One of, the, one of those things. And uh, there were some problems with the game. <laughs> just, like, glitching out. We, we did both objectives, got to the end, and the, it just would not end. Like, the level would not end for some reason. And uh, then we restarted it, and then one of the objectives just would not complete no matter what we did. And it was just, it was just weird. Um, but other than that, like, the actual gameplay was fine. I didn't have any problems with it. I think we are going to have to clean the disc, though, because now it's not even loading past, past the loading screen here. So... <laughs> One more time while I just clean the disc real quick. And if it still doesn't work, like I said, sadly, we're going to have to give up on SOCOM for tonight while I uh, acquire another copy of the game or something. But, um, yeah, let me clean the game. That's probably all it needs, man. Usually, the, the laser in my PS2 is pretty solid. Usually, a nice clean gets it right through. So, BRB again. Anything we can do here... Or there. Oh, this is somewhere new. Oh, this is somewhere completely new. Wait, how do we... How does this link back up with the other side? Oh, God, I'm lost. <laughs> it's fine. Joe, isn't it so cool right now? So chill. I think that nothing bad could happen to us. Do you know Clementine? Oh, yeah, I know her. I used to see her a lot. I think she lives around here. She was always talking about leaving the city. I don't get it. This place is great. Why leave? I, uh, think you're a little too chill, man. Mo, Joe and Mo. Mo seems pretty chill. DJ. Alright. Fingers crossed. Wiped it off. There was a couple smudges on it, actually, that I didn't see, so. This might be all it takes. SOCOM 2 and Counter-Strike 1.5 got me into multiplayer gaming. I've never been that big into multiplayer gaming, to be honest with you, outside of, like, RuneScape. Although, I did play a some... I wouldn't say too much, but I played some Counter-Strike Go with uh, my brother for a little while. Had a lot of fun with that. That and Rocket League. I uh, played a lot of, like, MMOs, too, in my... But mostly, like, RuneScape. Tried WoW, never got that into it. Final Fantasy 16, played some of that. Hey, we got past the loading screen at least this time. That's a good sign. But most of the time when I played those games, I was playing solo anyways. <laughs> like, not necessarily with other people or with a group or anything like that. Just playing, you know, by myself, seeing how far I could get and stuff. SOCOM single player campaigns were pretty fun too. I, I wish my memory was a little bit better. <laughs> it might have been SOCOM that we were playing. Let me look at my list here. Was Did we play a SOCOM game yet? R R R Rommelron? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm terrible. <laughs> but hey, thank you for the follow, man. So calm. No, I do not see one here. So it must have been a Tom Clancy game of some sort. Maybe Ghost Recon? I don't remember. But it was, uh, yeah, it was good, though. Other than problems with the game itself, it was good. All right, can we get into the options menu now? We can! Okay, let's go. Uh, is there anything we need changed? We can change to progressive scan. Should help it look just a little bit better. Everything else, probably fine. People still play online every night? Wait, you mean this game? SOCOM 3? That's pretty sick, man. Saved a memory card slot one. Being able to give your AI squad's voice commands was ahead of its time. Is that... Can you do that with this one? Look, I, I'll be honest with you. I own it complete in box, but, like, I haven't looked through the uh, <laughs> through the manual or anything like that for it. So, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm completely lost, man. I am not a, uh, a SOCOM pro or anything by any means. 
said, apparently, looking at my list of games I played here, this looks to be the first one that I've ever tried. So, like... <laughs> Has an online community via PS Rewind. There used to be some Logitech USB headsets that were compatible. That's really freaking cool, man. That's actually pretty sick. Um, I accidentally hit network. There we go. New campaign. We'll just do uh, Lieutenant. Try the training mission out first. Sucks we had all them problems getting the game up and running, though, because that's going to cut into the time we have to play. Spectre, your reconnaissance mission and global news service. Tensions are heightened. They talk today as General Hadar Mahmoud, leader of the North African Patriotic Front, continues to threaten military action. I don't think it's important. And North Africa has been aborted. We just received word that the North African Patriotic Front is invading and their forces are now in the area. You and your team will need to regroup ASAP and fight your way to the extraction point. Time is short, so you'll have to hurry. Enemy anti aircraft tanks are moving into the area. And the Pave Hawk we're sending to extract, you will soon become an easy target. All right. Details. This is how it stands, Commander. The North African Patriotic Front is invading. It's only a matter of time before the capital falls. Rendezvous with Bravo Element and then proceed to extraction point. Good luck. Okay. So that's our main objective. Just get to Bravo. The Na NAPF is flooding the area with troops. North At African Patriotic Force. Okay. Uh, need to get the extraction point ASAP. It's located in the walled village marked on this map. Okay. So we get to pick our loadout? We do. Or is this our crew? That's our crew. Okay. Very cool. We can change loadout. I'm not going to because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> but it's nice that you can do it anyways. This is so similar to the one that we played not too long ago, in a lot of ways. Spectre, the primary LZ is hot. You're going to have to make your way east to the backup extraction point. Rendezvous with Bravo, and then hightail it out of there. Copy that, HQ. We're heading there now. Okay, we got controls with the right stick. Move with the left analog stick, aim with the right. Tapping triangle toggles to a crouch position. Holding toggles between standing and prone. Note that this training mission assumes you're using the default controller scheme. I am. <laughs> Move to nav point Charlie to the northeast, okay? We can prone crawl. The weapon crosshair is at the center of the screen. The lines around the crosshair shrink and expand when you fire a move to show current weapon accuracy. Pretty standard stuff so far for that. To fire your currently equipped weapon, press R1. Uh, one thing I would like to change real quick, if we have that option. Aim pitch inverted. Thank you. I should probably turn aim assist on because I am terrible. Move to nav point delta now, okay. Have I fed the cat? She seems kind of begging. No, I did not. I forgot. Okay, can we aim down sights? Oh, that changes. Uh, oh god. Is there an a? It doesn't. There doesn't seem to be aim down sights. Which could be a problem. We'll we'll be okay. We'll make it work. Oh, there's somebody else here. Uh, there we go. Get down nice and low. Are we are we over the hill enough to shoot? Grenades would be fantastic. Seems like the perfect use for one. Up twice on deep. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's like a full first person mode we can move around at everything too not what i expected but very nice then is it down twice to oh just up once takes us into it is he dead now he's dead checkpointing saves the progress of your mission restart the mission from your last checkpoint at any time by pressing start to open the pause menu okay let me manually save your checkpoint okay Oh, yeah, no, that is. That's, like, full first person. That's cool. You don't see that too much, the ability to switch between the two, especially in a shooter game, you know? Pretty common in, like, Bethesda games, but other stuff? May have to have a scope equipped to get a zoom crosshair. That's fair, yeah. Okay. So I'm assuming my goal is just to get these guys taken care of. 
problem solved. What are you doing? You oh, never mind. I didn't realize I was leaving the mission area. My bad, game. Mount icon show open positions in a vehicle where you enter determines where you'll sit. So mount from the driver's door to drive. Press X to mount. Okay. So driver side to drive. And then over. X. Press R1 to accelerate. L1 for reverse. Turn with analog stick. Triangles break. I think we can handle that. Drive to nav point echo. Keep following the nav. I'm assuming off-roading would be bad. <laughs> Outside of when we kind of have to to get around stuff. Right analog stick to look around while driving. Click R3 to return to the default. Oh. This just seems like a good way for me to wreck. I mean, it's nice that you can like get a view of your, your surroundings, though. Without actually moving the vehicle room. Change seats by pressing right and left. Any teammate in the seat you move to will swap positions with you. Oh, but they won't just, like, automatically drive for us? Oh, okay. I thought, <laughs> I thought the AI would just take over driving while we were manning the gun or something like that, but... Guess not. What awaits us in Echo? You can swap to the turret position and use the heavy weapon to eliminate large groups of enemies. Eee. So I found out. Uh, so I'm assuming this is when we want to do this. <laughs> oh shit, there's more of them. Uh, we taking hits? Oh dude, we really are too. We lost like half our health. I think we're good. Let's get the hell out of here. Somebody should probably watch those buildings. That seems like prime location for people to be chilling. No? Okay. See, if I was those... What was it? The North African something another I would have had troops sitting up in the buildings instead of right on the side of the road can we just hit them <laughs> oh okay so they they will shoot eventually the the AI here but they're they're very slow to do so that's okay Seems like the enemy's very slow to shoot us at the moment as well, so. We can more or less outrun them. Seems like a small problem, guys. Can we just, like, jump it? Drive the vehicle to nav point Juliet and leave the vehicle there. Uh, where's Juliet? Back there? It actually handles relatively well off-road, not going to lie. Smile by pressing X, move to nav point Kilo, and secure another vehicle. We can attempt to do so. Oh, our health has uh, refilled at some point, too. That's nice. Remain stealthy by moving slow and stick to cover, water, or shadows. This will allow you to get close and eavesdrop to gather intel. Oh, so we don't just want to kill them. Okay. <laughs> Good to know, because I was getting ready to just try and shoot the guys. No, we got to we gotta gather some intel. That makes sense. Suddenly, we're playing Metal Gear. Uh, Maybe, like, swimming in similar, is similar to movement on foot. Push left analog stick to move. Right analog stick to turn. Your weapons are unavailable by swimming. That makes sense. Can we, like, hide behind... I don't know what kind of plants these are growing in the water. While swimming, fresh triangle to submerge and hide from enemies. Breath meter next to each steel's name indicates how long you can stay under. Okay. But if we just stay behind this stuff here, we should be good, right? Oh, wait. Are they actually, like, coming out here to check? Oh, God. Killjoy sucks at holding their breath, dude. You guys can just go back to where you were. Killjoy's gonna die. <laughs> okay, back, back up, guys. <laughs> Killjoy was not doing so well. How close do we need to get to... To eavesdrop and gather intel? If 
we swim more slowly, do we are we more quiet? Tap circle for tactical command. Fire team, escortee, able. Bravo. What does this stuff do? Oh, all kinds of stuff. Deploy, fire will, move to, clear area, get down, cover target, regroup. Oh, I probably should have just had them like hold position back there or something while I snuck up. That might have been a good idea. What is able and bravo? So those must be other teams. I don't know which team is which, though. What do the other directions do? Nothing. Can he... I don't think he can see us. I don't like the way... The, the, the fact that he's facing this way, though. You can turn back around if you want, my guy. On, dude. Look away. We're behind some bushes. Surely you can't see us right now. That's kind of the hallmark of the SOCOM franchise. I can see why. It definitely feels unique. The other one that I played, so I wish I could remember what it was. It must have been like Tom Clancy something another. Um that had the similar kind of squad-based combat stuff. It had some commands you, you could do, but the commands were just basically like, follow, stay, go here, um, open fire sort of stuff, you know? Like, very, very basic commands. Not nearly as many options. OG Ghost Recon was one of your favorite games, too? That might have been the one. I think that probably was the one that we played. So it wasn't bad, like, gameplay-wise itself. It was just the, the the completion for the first mission glitched on us a couple of times, which was kind of annoying. From what I've read online after that, it was much better on the OG Xbox than it was on the PS2. Do I just shoot this guy? I thought we were trying to collect intel, but, like... But I'm kind of giving up on that. You're leaving the mission area. If you don't return, we'll have to pull you from the field. Carry body now. I mean, I assume we could like hide the body to stop the other dudes from seeing it. You suppress your cook weapons, kill enemies without alerting others in the air. You're here. What did you miss? Welcome back, Rue. Uh, not much. You missed the game not working. Uh, me getting the game to work, and then me trying to figure out how the hell to play the game. <laughs> Press L1 to switch to your suppressor equipped pistol and make a silent go again. I like that we can see, like in the bottom left corner, exactly what we have. You may also sneak up close and press X to take enemies out with close quarters tactics. Very cool. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell from back here, but are you... I think you're facing away. Because I would love to try and get close and do the close quarters kill thing. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Nope, nope. <laughs> okay. Is there anyone else here? I don't think so. The TCA, tactical command something maybe, allows you to command Bravo with a single button click. Tap L2 when the blue icon appears under your crosshairs and Bravo will perform the action. Use the TCA to have Bravo mount the SOCR near nav point Kilo. Use of the TCA will be expanded upon later in the mission. Get in. Oh, so that's what the little symbols that keep popping up in the bottom of the screen are. Things that we can go and tell them to do. Board the vehicle and proceed with your mission. Uh, I'm assuming we probably have to hop in the back to drive, maybe? Oh no, that's the... Is this the motor or the gun? This looks like the, the gun. How do we... Who drives? Boats use the same controls as other vehicles. Press R1 to accelerate, L1 for reverse. Okay. Uh, Drive to the nav point. Excuse me, sir. There we go. Is it you? Ooh, nope, definitely not you. Nope, not you either. <laughs> You're using a regular gun. You, okay, guy in the middle. That's the guy that drives. Got it. <laughs> well, nice to know we got a uh, an array of weapons we can use here. Should we please? Be careful, sir. There are threats on the shore. Enemy 
Uh, don't we have like? Isn't this like a rocket? No, not a rocket launcher. Like a grenade launcher on the back of here. Can't you guys just like fire? Hold on, you. Yeah. <laughs> See? What I tell you, man? No problem at all. Not exactly stealth, but it works. Okay. Hold on. Let's get, let's get... I don't know if we even need to face those guys. We might be able to just go around here. It's probably pointless, but <laughs> why would I pass up the chance to noob tube some dudes on the shore? Okay, my bad. My bad, dude. Didn't realize that was outside mission area. Proceed on foot to nav point, Papa. Be careful, enemies okay, are in the area. Disembark the boat here. Oh, shut up, lady. <laughs> press down to zoom into first person view. During night missions, a second press of down activates night vision. Press down, or that's up. That's the up icon. It looks like an arrow pressing down, but that's up. Uh, Press again to zoom into scope view if your weapon is so equipped. Press down to zoom out. Okay. Thankfully, we got that tip already. For weapons that have multiple fire modes, click and hold L3 to change rate of fire. Current setting is represented by bullet icons below your weapon graphics. Ah, single shot. And then, I don't know if that's like four round burst or if that's just full auto. Uh, Probably, let's try the single. Single doesn't seem so bad. So... Okay, so what was it? It was circle, fire team, move to. I'm assuming that just moves to wherever my cursor is. Oh, no, we can actually pick. Holy hell. Okay. Move to crosshair. So now they're just going to move right up in front of me there. Now, the next question is, once everyone gets there, are they going to continue moving or will they just hold position until I tell them to move again use the team command menu to issue orders yep with team command menu you can command your teammates to move to locations you specify hold their fire cover an area and other tactical choices For more information regarding specific TCM commands refer to the manual we could do that but I'll probably just you know trial by fire here okay I know they seem to be they seem to be just kind of chilling. So what I'd rather you do, actually, is maybe... Um, of a target clear. Deploy. Yep. Fire team. Regroup. Move to. There it is. Move to crosshairs. Move forward. Your inventory holds items that may come in handy in combat situations. Press R2 to open the inventory. Press up and down to cycle through your available gear. With a grenade equipped, press and hold R1 to see the trajectory arc. More pressure on R1 increases the throwing distance, okay? Uh, grenade. L1. And then... Oh, this does not have quite the arc. Oh, wait, that's right. It's pressure sensitive sometimes it's weird man like I wish Sony would have kept the the pressure sensitive triggers but it's so easy to forget that that's a thing okay, just, just stay with me guys work our way up around um Hostile down. Good job. Good job. So far, I'll definitely say I think this one's running better than Ghost Recon or whatever it was that we were playing before. Press X when pick up secondary weapon or pick up primary weapon. Action icon appears to take the weapon. I don't think we need the weapon right now, though, right? Carry body, pick up primary. Ooh, rooftops for extra enemies. That would make sense. Ladder. Ladder appears to be our goal. 
Climb a ladder, move near, press X. Okay. Simple enough. I think I can handle that. Hello! <laughs> Restrain surrendered personnel by moving close to them and press X when you see the restraint action icon. Restrain. You may leave the enemy. Allied forces will come by later to take them into custody. Most enemies surrender only when outnumbered or outgunned. Flashbang grenades can help force all but the most fanatical enemies into surrendering. Deploy flashbang grenades like you would any other grenade without fear of doing actual damage to targets. That's cool. Take the mountain trail to Nav Romeo. Are you... You're an enemy though, aren't you? I mean, you might surrender if we went over there, but... I feel a lot safer with that. <laughs> you don't want to get up tomorrow? Bro, I feel that in my soul. I originally had plans for tomorrow. Um, but because of the weather, I'm just staying home now. And while I miss the friend that I was going to hang out with... I'm also kind of happy to just not have to do anything tomorrow. I'm not going to lie. So all I want to do is take a nap. <laughs> That's just a long nap. <laughs> Fun. And here I just don't want to go to school. I mean, dude, that's fair. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> We're staying home. Yeah, so you didn't have to come to begin with. Like, you were welcome to. But I also told you you were welcome to stay home. May be able to climb over some barriers and obstacles. Move near an obstacle, and when the climb action icon appears, press X to climb. That makes sense. You're almost done, but you're so done. How much longer do you have? I know I've asked before, but again, memory doesn't really work. May also press square to jump over small objects. Okay, can I... Uh, hold on. How do we inventory stay again? Right here. Oh. That. Okay, that tells them to stay put. Here we go, mark 23. The bike to swoop shit. I hope nobody heard that. <laughs> you better go, guys. Sorry, I wasn't that active today this fall. If things go well. Nice, dude. Nice. Well, not too much longer then. Just like half a year, not even. But yeah, no. Have a good night, my guy. And uh yeah, like Noodle said, you got this, dude. May also command your teammates via the TCA, like when you commanded your team to board this SOCR. When you point at an empty location, tap L2 to command your team to move there. Hold L2 to have them enter follow mode. If the team is already in follow and you hold L2, they will get down and hold position. Okay. Kind of accidentally just found that out. Coming back your way. Come on. Aye, aye. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit here. See. So if I just Head tap L2, there. they'll go over there. On the way, sir. What? Oh, well. <laughs> Not exactly silent there. I, uh... <laughs> Let's go. Well, oh well. It's fine. Um, I'd like to switch to this weapon, please. Thank you. We can get back up. Who needs stealth anyways when you just have pure, unadulterated firepower? He got the golden BB. Nice. Can we... Uh, no, you must be dead. Okay. I saw him crawling for a moment. I was going to see if maybe we could uh, restrain him or something. Doesn't seem to be an option when they're dead. Hi! Uh, nope, wrong button. Oh shit, I don't have auto turned on. <laughs> I've single shot mode trying to just gun the guy down. That was good. Why are they shooting? Oh dude, there's a dude right there. I am blind as hell. Uh, Somebody get him. I can't aim. I'm terrible. I need mouse and keyboard or I'm actually useless. I'm half useless with mouse and keyboard. Okay, we're to the point. Place explosives by moving near the target object and pressing X when place satchel appears. Make sure you clear the area before the charge goes off. When deploying some items, a timer appears in your HUD and shows how much time is left before the item is activated or explodes. Holy sh... That's not very long. Hopefully this explosion isn't too big. Okay, that wasn't that bad, actually. Uh, hello. Which one is it? L2. You guys can go over there and deal with anybody that might be in the building. 
I don't hear gunfire. That's a good good sign. Is there another? Do we need to blow this one up too? No. So can we go around? Open doors by pressing X when the door icon appears. That makes sense. Reaching the way, entering an area that allows the team to effectively deal with any threats that may be present. Order a breach via the TCM. And then specify one of the doors. In bang and clear, your team deploys flashbang grenades. In frag and clear, your team deploys frag. In move and clear, the team simply enters and clears the area. You may also call a breach using the TCA. Just point at a door, and if the blue action icon appears, press L2 to command your teammates. To do the default breach. What's the default breaching action? Uh, there we go. Oh, so not like actual doors, Move but rooms. Roger that. Well, go ahead. You guys gonna? So, okay, there they go. <laughs> I guess they all had to get in place first. I feel like flash and clear would have been good there, but uh, so we can go to the menu. Fire team. What was it? Clear area? No, it's breach, but breach isn't available right now. It's weird. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now it's available. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. It's a large open area, though. So because of that, I don't know if banging clear is really the best bet, but you know what? Go ahead. Just for shits and gigs. Maybe look away. Cover your ears. And go. Holy shit. Is he just firing blind or... What was it? We have to hold this one. There we go. Down and come on, there we go. We Gucci, we good. Uh, looks more or less clear. You may command your teammates to fire at will or hold fire via the TCM when fire at will mode. Yep, okay. Go, okay. Uh, I expected there to be, like, a person or something whenever that happened. Do you guys want to maybe check that area? Move there. Yes, Commander. While I go this way? Standing by for further orders. Okay. A lot emptier than I expected. Where's the actual point I'm trying to get to? Oh, it's down here. I passed it. Do I need to go through these doors to get there? Nope, can't go through those doors. Okay. Maybe it did look like back here, like we could go the other direction. Yeah, through this building here. So maybe that's where we're going. That would make sense. Here we go. I saw movement, maybe not. Oh, hi, guys. Um, oh, damn it, dude. <laughs> I keep pressing R2 to try and get the guys to move, but it's definitely L2. It's a lot of gunfire. Move forward, move forward. Push. That was terrible. Place, Zoom in a little bit. There we go. Go. I'll be there soon, Commander. Wonder if, like, in the main game, there's probably intel and stuff that we can collect while we're moving around. But since this is just the training mission, I'm assuming there's not really much for us to. What the hell is there? Somebody. Oh, it's them firing. Holy crap, I thought somebody was shooting at us from behind, man. 
Oh, well, I see what they're shooting at. Standing by for further orders. Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for five bits, love. Appreciate you. You're getting your shower? Enjoy. I'm going to try and not die. Checkpoint saved. Excellent. Fire team, this is Skytop. I'm inbound to your location. How far are you? <laughs> oh, hi. Okay, we good. No problemo, my guy. I'm surprised we're not getting the breach action on all these doors here, but... I guess that's fine. Um, I can send these guys out there. Position. Check the area for me. <laughs> I see, like, some blood and dead bodies and stuff. I also hear some suspicious yelling, so I think I think the, the, it might not be so good. Where? Did I accidentally leave them behind? Where's the rest of my team? Why are they not moving in? Move there. Roger that. Commander, we are in position. What? I mean you're in position <laughs> you're definitely not in position dude i'm looking at the position i told you to be in and you're not there okay Follow me. no just yes, collect here oh hi now you guys are here go will you go out there now now you will go to that point. maybe move yes, all the way across so you got some cover and then yeah, no shit hostile sighted. Move up to that corner. I'll give you cover fire. Got the heavy gun, dude. Turrets offer additional firepower at the cost of mobility. Use stationary turrets to eliminate large groups of enemies while conserving ammo. The fact that this is here makes me feel like somebody's suddenly going to show up. Or a large group of people. Maybe situations where you'll need Bravo element to cover one direction while you cover another. While pointing in the direction you want Bravo to cover, open the TCM by pressing circle, select Bravo, and select the cover target command. Uh... Uh, the Bravo cover target. Sir, we've got company. Can I? Is this thing capable of taking that down? <laughs> I don't know if this one turret can take down a tank or not. Uh, bro, I'm surprised it's not shooting at me. Is that... That's not my tank, right? I mean, I guess it's not showing up, like, red. Maybe it is meant to be my tank. Yeah, it's not shooting any of my guy... Oh. <laughs> we, just, we just had to wait for the helicopter to do it for us. That's all. Yeah, dude. Not bad, honestly. I could get into this. Everybody's on the helicopter. Nice and safe. Other than me randomly losing like half my health at one point, I don't think anybody really took too many hits. I mean, it was also a training mission. Though. I'm sure it's going to get much worse as the game continues. Like... But in the, the beginning, at least, not too bad. Not too bad. Stealth kill zero. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Didn't really do the stealth too well, man. 
tried to at one point and screwed it up royally. Next mission, Deep Strike. Team, that was a little too close for comfort. I'm glad we were able to get you out of there. Our friend General Ma Oh, they're actually saying it this time. We are prepared. Select slot to slate. Words are hard. Select slot to save your data. Yeah, that's fine. Over right. I didn't even know we had a, like actual save yet. Ooh. Nice neck crack. Data save team. That was a little too close. We read that. Gonna try to get one more mission in. We have a half hour. I think we can do it. I don't know how how long the missions normally are, but. Northern Africa, 1,500 hours. I'm assuming that's like the leader of the North African Peace Forces or whatever the hell they were called. Patriots, that's it. Patriotic force or something. Not that it really matters, but what did he actually do to make the world hate him? <laughs> like, I need a little bit of backstory. I need some some motivation here on why he he's bad guy. Oh, well, that wasn't very nice. Obviously, this doesn't make me, you know, my, my heart turn for the guy or anything, but <laughs> what led to this? I need some, I need some backstory here, man. Why, why does everyone hate him? Why does everyone want him to take out? Why are there embargoes against him and his country? Uh, they've already captured several key cities and are now marching to the coast. The invading force is moving quickly and its supply lines are stretched to the breaking point. SOCOM will take advantage of this weakness by deploying your team to disrupt supply routes. Okay. Mission details. Your orders are to interdict. She's saying it for me. Rendezvous with resistance, ambush the convoy, secure fortified well, destroy NAPF radio transmitter, and rendezvous with the leader. So definitely more objectives this time. The resistance effort is led by a man called the Sand Lion. The Sand Lion has pledged his forces to the international effort to repel the NAPF invasion. The Sand Lion's forces are harassing NAPF troops during the invasion, slowing their advance. The weaponry is too light to be effective against NAPF armor, however. Let's move out then, dude. <laughs> Just get into it. Honestly, all the reading in the world I don't think is going to prepare me for whatever the hell is actually about to happen. So, let's <laughs> just get into the thick of it. Oh, dude, I totally thought that was water. <laughs> Like, with the way the ferns were in front of it or whatever, too, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, this, that's just a little lake or something going on there. Saw the vehicles in the distance, like, man, those boats are really freaking going for it, huh? And no, that's <laughs> that's sand. Well, uh, what was it? R2 to move? R1 to move. Copy that. We're moving there now. 
Okay, there's Enemy probably... I was going to say, there's probably going to be enemies approaching at some point. Where is this enemy vehicle? Can we just dodge it? Oh, shit. Nope. Hostiles Get back in the car. Position. Okay, Battle never mind. Dismount. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't dismount. Get in. Let's go. <laughs> Oh god, the other ones are back there. Oh god, <laughs> there's a. Oh, we we screwed up. Get in, get in. <laughs> oh, we lost one. No, shoot! I told him to get out again. I don't. I don't like that. Why? Okay. Get in, get in, get in. Let's go. <laughs> I told you as soon as we got into the next mission, it probably wasn't going to go as well as the first. Oh boy. All right, well, we already lost one. That's good. Let's go. So it's R2 for backpack. L2 tells them what to do. That's not break or slow down. That's <laughs> tell people to, to, to do stuff. Like, hop out of the vehicle whenever there's an enemy truck firing at us. Real smart move there. People up here? There's somebody up here. You're friendly, okay. Resistance what kind leader? Of camel has no humps, no hooves, and drinks no water. The camel spider. This is Rashid Kali. He saw the convoy. It went past about an hour ago. Three trucks, all empty. That means they're loading up for another shipment. Son, you've done a great job. Stanline's forehead's looking a little like dented in, man. <laughs> because you are better equipped. We want you to take out the lead vehicle and the two immediately behind it in the convoy. When that happens, it will create confusion and our forces will then attack the rear. Between us, I pray that we can stop these murderers. Oh, we will. Rest easy on that. Okay. Take out some people. Got it. what we're here for checkpoint saved next objective ambush convoy is the convoy coming past here like can i just sit here and wait for them to come down the road go to that point loud and clear sir or actually you know on the other side of the road maybe we're in place you're you're not, though. You're both... Oh, whatever. <laughs> I give up. Okay, I'm assuming we right. need to chill over Let's here and wait. Who are you? Now remember, Who are you? Everyone, stick to cover until Spectre initiates the attack. You must be part of the resistance. Uh, if we're taking out armor, do we have, like... Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Ooh, sh shit. Are you... Here comes the convoy, Spectre. We'll attack on your command. Oh, shit. It's that way. Enemy spotted. Are we... Are we firing now? I never got command. No, oh, jeez, man. Okay, well... <laughs> Uh, apparently, I only had one, one big shot. Uh, and how you get shot in the leg and just keep moving? Go down. Well, that certainly could have went more smoothly. Did we lose another guy? No, we've still only lost one. Okay. I want to hop on this, and then can I use this to destroy that, maybe? Oh, yeah, there we go. Do I need to destroy this? No, good. How do I get in the driver's seat? Spectre, there we go. Some NAPS vehicles made it past the resistance fighters and are closing on your position. Make sure they don't get through. 
Okay. So I'm assuming just get to Echo as quickly as possible and murder anybody that's there. I kind of wish we wouldn't have used the, the anti-tank rocket now, though. Because uh, I'm starting to feel like we're probably going to come up across a tank. I didn't realize we only had one shell for that. Oh, well. <laughs> Live and learn. Okay. If that's what you suggest, man, I'll take your word for it. Well, you... disable NAPF communications before they even know you're there. Nothing's popping up. Oh, nope, you're definitely not friendly. The front entrance and prevent any NAPF forces from escaping. Oh, we got another shell for that. Awesome. Uh, I want this back. Where'd that guy go? There he is. Damn it. What? Dude, just... Did he die that time? Okay, we got, we got him that time. Sneaky, sneaky. They'll never see us. There's nobody in that truck, right? Doesn't look like it. Oh, damn it. All right, so much for stealth. Why is that the other thing equipped? No, I want <laughs> I want this, the M4A1. Okay, we're fine. Switch back. Do we have a scope this time? We do. Oh, we have a, a range finder on it too. Uh, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Where at? Oh, I see them. Oh, sorry. You kind of walked in front of me, bro. Spectre. They were able to send a transmission. Oh, no. Be facing tougher opposition now that the NAPF know you're here. Well, that sucks. I didn't realize we had to like get here quickly. Uh, is there, like, turrets on the walls or something that we can use to defend ourselves here? Uh, dis disable radio. A little late. and Probably won't do much now, but... Okay, is there any way... On to the walls? Mm, not that I'm seeing. There's definitely baddies out there, though. Holy shit. Oh my god, we're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, it's fine. Get down. Up. Okay, peep back around that corner. Or not. Is he dead? Maybe he died. I was hoping there was like a way up over here, but it doesn't appear to be. And we can't go in that door. Okay. Guess we just got to go out and face it. Is there any way to, like, heal? Doesn't appear to be. Backpack? Binoculars? No. Are you... <laughs> nope, you're not friendly. Okay. Sneaking up on us in the bushes like that. Come on, bro. Really handy if we could get up on the wall. There's that truck over there, though. Um, run to the truck. You don't have, like, great aim in this thing. Can we shoot down the tree? It's kind of in the way. Blow up their equipment. Not that anyone's in it that I know of, but I mean, that looks like a supply convoy, so getting rid of it's probably a good idea. Get in. Will do. Where is our third guy? He's not dead. 
Huh. Well, hopefully he, like, respawns on us at some point. Can you shoot him? Good job, dude. Okay, that's our other truck. That one should be fine where it's at. You're leaving the mission area. What do you mean? Return, we'll have to pull you from the field. How am I... The objective's right there. How am I out of bounds? Okay. Do I have to go the other way around? There isn't another way around. Um. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing something. Obviously doing something wrong here. There's still a star over here, so maybe there's something else I need to do over here? Or maybe it's because I'm missing a dude? Sir, I'm here. Let's go. Okay, both the dudes are back. Uh, maybe now we can go to Point India? I don't see any more people here that we need to kill or anything. Okay, let's just try again, man. I don't know. See what happens. Worst case scenario, we go out of bounds, the game kicks us or something. Like, it's not the end of the world, I guess. You two want to get in? GG. Uh, let's go. Out of bounds message? What are you doing? Out of bounds you message. To to the mission area. Yeah, it really did, too. It really kicked us off. Um, I don't know what we were doing wrong there. Oh, shit, and it starts us completely over. Well, that kind of sucks. Mission completion, 37%. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we only have, like, 12 minutes left anyways, so I think we should probably just call it a night. Um... I think we're probably going to have to revisit SOCOM at some point. I like the gameplay loop, but that mission, I don't know if it's breaking or if I was just being dumb. That worries me a little bit, though. But still, I'm definitely willing to uh, take another look at this at some point. Uh, SOCOM 3 specifically. We do also have, I believe, SOCOM 1 still to try. Yeah, SOCOM US Navy SEALs. We still have that one that we need to just try at some point as well. What's the uh what's the how long to beat on SOCOM 3? Probably not too long, huh? SOCOM 3. US Navy SEALs. Yeah, seven and a half hours. That's not bad. It might go on the game to complete list, man. I'm gonna have to try this mission again on my own time at some point. Just to make sure that like everything is running smoothly. Because that mission worries me a little bit. But as long as it's uh, it seems okay, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna give it a go, man. I'm I'm into it. I like the the team based action stuff and uh i used to be a big fan of first person shooters so or shooters in general so maybe it's time to start getting back into them i don't know man but as for tonight guys thank you all so much for coming and joining me a little bit while we tried out socom 3 u.s navy seals we will be back on today it's going into monday tuesday wednesday wednesday for metal gear solid 3 it's all about the threes today i guess uh i thought maybe we'd be wrapping that up but according to chocobo we probably have another two maybe three streams for that so but getting near the end of that there and of course we've been having a ton of fun with that it's a it's a great series man a lot of fun until then though have a great night everybody thank you again one last time and as always be kind to each other bye bye y'all